come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming at you every Saturday, whether you're ready Ish. for it or not. <laughs> In our quest for total world domination, that's something that you can help us out with by going over to wherever you found us and hit that like or subscribe button because all that stuff helps us rise up through those algorithms. And we all know the algorithms are against us. They're against you. They're against me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Got to so, pray uh, to the you, almighty algorithm. That's right. I think so, we just got into a different podcast <laughs> yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> you can help us <laughs> Kayla, beat the algorithm. Kayla Collins paranoia. That's right. <laughs> We're fighting for the freedom from the algorithms by hitting that like or subscribe I button. I wonder what our sub podcast would be, Sean. <laughs> oh, I've already thought about it. We have a dating podcast. Yes. That we should do. I'm on. I'm on. I, I meant to propose this to you. Uh, you were going to propose ago. to me? Uh, just the podcast <laughs> idea, but yes. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that that will be the only proposal so far. Ever. I, I, I'm so sorry. Ever. <laughs> well, I'm we in. should probably introduce uh, these people who are going to be bringing this dating podcast to you. They're the internet radio superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by. We can still call it the freak show, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, tonight's movie is brought to you by Michaela. Michaela, what do we watch tonight? The Apple. Ooh, from the year. 1980. From who? The Cannon Group. Ooh, okay, directed. <laughs> the entire I mean, group? The the, entire did group? the whole group direct it? I, I, mean, like I the, mean, the founder of Cannon himself, Menachem Golan, did direct this movie. I, I feel like the whole group was in it. Yeah, that, that's true. Point. Yeah. Yeah, it was a Golan Globus uh, production. Yes, so, it is a production. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, I suppose we should get this out of the way that thank you, Michaela. You have officially put Menachem Golan on the yeah. Saturday Night Free Show. <laughs> if somebody was going to do it, it was going to be me. Uh, so. yeah. And thank you to MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, who reminds us that we have a certificate. Is Menachem Golan even still alive? I don't uh, I can't think, so. think so. Okay, because no. he went from canon to 21st century films, and then we lost track of him. But uh, so he directed the Apple. Mm -hmm. He also directed the Delta Force. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He died in 2014. Oh, that's unfortunate. He rest. And the uh, third film that we watched. Is Globus still alive? Yorm? (laughs) Yorm. Yeah, let's see if Yorm Globus is still alive. Well, I mean, the deathless Sylvester Stallone classic. Over the, top. over the top. Over the top. Of course. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yep. One of my favorite episodes we ever did. It, it, we, might we had peaked. arm wrestling. We, arm wrestling. <laughs> we might have peaked with that episode, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess first question is, uh, well, Michaela obviously mm-hmm. has uh, yearly her summer picks are going to be the summer of camp. Well, this is the first time we've done it since... 2019. Yeah, I was going to say, it was a bad summer of Canada. Oh, okay. I don't know if you remember, it didn't go well. We had, yeah, we needed we had a the break. Hercules movie with Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. And uh, we were plumbing the depths. So and this it. is on brand Canon, uh, Summer Canon? Yeah, Summer Canon is back, <laughs> baby. Oh boy, this Enter the Ninja. Back. I it's, see it's on the horizon. Okay, so. This is no, the, like, it's, no, it's the like a sequel. It's Canada. the like a sequel to Summer of Canon. Oh, okay. Canon is like a bad breakup. It's like we're always going to go we're back. We're going to go back. Because <laughs> we had good times and we remember the good times. We forget the bad times like Hercules. Right? Yeah. And you know, like, Canon's got the drugs you like and you're yeah. like ah oh, I can't get those from anybody else <laughs> yeah. and you're like I know they're gonna make me like sit and watch them play GTA 5 for like 30 minutes before I get the drugs but right. it, it'll be worth it <laughs> <laughs> well, canon is uh, you know, we've done past episodes but it's the brainchild of two Israeli mm-hmm. uh, uh they moved to the United yeah. States emigrants uh, Menachem Golan and mm-hmm. Yoram Globus yes so, Larger than life personalities, really. Yep, they're high on cocaine. The whole mm-hmm. I don't know if that's confirmed. There's a documentary yep. called uh, Electric Boogaloo. The story of Canon Films, I think, is the full title. Yeah. Which is the first time that I ever heard of the yep. Apple. Yep. Anybody else oh. you ever heard hear this movie prior to Only from here. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. yeah. Never right. heard of it, never knew yeah. of it. Yeah, checked it a few times here and there. Yeah. So where in the Canon film story does the Apple fit in? Where so, in the Canon of Canon? Yeah, yeah. So we, when we talked about Summer of Canon, we talked about before how like they kind of had two piles for scripts, right? The two Chucks, Charles Bronson and Chuck Norris, and where's, they would kind of divide scripts up like that. Where's that Netflix? Chuck and Chuck, Chuck and Bi- the two Chucks. The two Chucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like we yeah. got Dolomite, we can do this. No, yeah. we need like 
a Pam and Tommy TV show, but about the making of Canon films. Yeah. Like, and how, and the behind the scenes. Of I, yeah. I I'm we'll so yeah. here for I that. We'll yeah. I'm Minocum so here for that. Your, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. I feel like this is, I feel like this could be another like disaster artist situation. Yeah. Like, I feel like James Franco can get behind this and do something with oh, it. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like that group would do this. Cause Colin, I feel like when I watched that documentary, it just scratched the surface. Yeah. I feel like it did not go very well, deep. Well, there were two. Yeah. But there was one. What, they produced we one. We talked about, yeah, there was one that they were behind because they did their own, and then right. there was like the unauthorized one, and they were trying to get it stopped. I can't remember. Right, but this what, is they trying to get it stopped. <laughs> it's something, yeah. Right. But this is 1980, and uh, Canon Film Group was founded in 1967. So this is like healthy, deep into Canon, but we haven't hit all the Chuck Norris or the Sylvester Stallone era yet. Mm-hmm. So they had they're on the they're on the way up, but they haven't peaked yet. Because mm-hmm. if I'm correct, they didn't. They didn't start it. They acquired yeah. the company. Mm-hmm. So when did they acquire the company? Uh, okay, that I'm, I'm not sorry. sure. I didn't know if this check. was like, no. this is the first Canon, like official, like Golan Globus. Uh, I don't think so. Canon group. Um, yeah. Cause I think they started making their money once they, uh, was it Death Wish 2 or so? They, they got Charles Bronson mm-hmm. and they, they purchased the rights to Death Wish. I mean, it was like oh, over yeah. 10 years, I think, since that movie had been made. But Death Wish 2 was a huge hit. And kind of they did buy it, it in 1979, so this might be one of the first <laughs> movies they made. Well, Menachem Golan, we talked about him before too. He 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 had made other movies. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Like Lemon it, Popsicle and Mohammed the Messenger yeah. of God with Anthony <laughs> Quinn. Yep. Uh, <laughs> later, didn't they do Last American Virgin? Yes, uh, which was a remake of was Lemon that, Popsicle. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. And that was go, did Golan direct that one? Uh that I don't know. I'll like, looking, let me let I me have, fact check. I have Golan's uh, filmography up. Yeah, of what he directed uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> so I mean, there is what? What was the popsicle one you were talking about? Uh, Lemon popsicle. That's yeah, an early one. Yeah, Tuna. We're in 1967. Oh wow. No, no, what's good for the goose? My Margot. He produced Lupo. so much stuff. Oh my god, his producer credits are never. Casablanca, yeah. Rosso, The Highway Queen, Escape he was for the, the Sun, The Great mm-hmm. Telephone Robbery. Casablanca, Lipke, Diamonds. I, are these I, all like Israeli movies? I think these are all Israeli movies. I was going to say, okay, I have Apple. never heard yeah. of any of got, these. Yeah, they got to be all Israeli movies. The Apple in 1980, Enter the Ninja in 81. Yeah, it looks Brooklyn like. Bridge, Delta Force, Over the Top. Then we get into it. There Hang we go. Door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mac yeah. the Knife, Hit the Dutchman, Silent Victim, Deadly Heroes. Yeah, so this is, yeah, one of the earliest, like. M- Golan and Globus canon films. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe the movie that spawned the canon empire. You might have, you might have, you might have finally uncovered that the origin point yes. of canon films. Yeah. This is a Apple. weird one because uh, it's um, it's the one and only canon musical. Isn't Mac the Knife a, new, a musical? It might be, but it, it like not in this sense. Okay. <laughs> So musicals, I guess, were hot in 1979. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, this in 1980, you had Xanadu and uh, the vill- Stay Tuned, the Village People movie, Can't Stop the Music. Both came out this <laughs> year as well. So, oh. yeah. W- which you guys Grease think. Grease was recent. Grease was the and year Tommy before. And the two years wall. Mm-hmm. Right. Wall, yep. Yeah. Hair was at some point in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. wow. Uh, yeah. Musicals and, make money right now. Rocky it, Horror, obviously. Right. Mm-hmm. And that w- I thought about Rocky Horror a lot while we were watching this movie, obviously, but uh, that movie was famously like it, it wasn't trying to be a cult movie. No, it like it like everybody hated it, and then it was adored on like the the late night, you know, mm-hmm. midnight movie uh, right. fans. This one. Like what happened? To, I mean, was this like a major release? Back yes, in and everybody hated it. <laughs> if you can believe it, I don't believe if it. You no. can believe it. It makes so much sense. So they did a, the first screening of it in Montreal. They did, and people audibly booed the movie <laughs> and were just heckling the shit out of it. And it upset Golan Globus so much that he stormed out of the theater, went to his hotel room on his balcony, and attempted to commit suicide. And his Shut assistant up. barged in and saved his uh, life. Wow! Oh Jesus. my so this god! Is, this is all, the beginning and almost just the, the end, end of canon. Of canon. <gasps> they, so we this- wouldn't have gotten over the top. <laughs> Had so that man not saved this his life. movie literally like prophesies its own fate. Yeah. Pretty because much. that happens yeah. in the yeah. movie. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Wow. Life wow. imitating art. Yep. And uh that 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 that's where the disaster artist comparison I think comes into mm-hmm. Holly. Like I feel the like the apple is 
to Golan Globe is what the room is to Tommy Wise. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. That's why I mean I can yeah. see this being like a yeah. James Franco situation where they could make something of this. And they handed out like vinyl records of the soundtrack to people that came to the premiere screening oh and people God. threw them. People threw no. them at the screen and damaged the screen <laughs> and put tears How in it. How much would one of those originals yeah. Go for Let's go. I'm gonna right look on eBay now. right yeah, now. Yeah, look it up. <laughs> look it up. Look it up. Well, oh no one's God. heard of the movie though. That's mm-hmm. the thing. But I bet they were right, super but some rare. Dude's just like, I'm not throwing it. I'm just gonna yeah, keep it and yeah. see what it's all about. And then he kept it for 40 years, and he's like, holy shit. Well, it has this maybe maybe bucks. has a bad title for what the movie that you're actually getting because I think you hear the apple and you're like, I don't know what the fuck. Is this. Yeah. But um, where? So what was the answer? Do you know what the inspiration was for this? I mean, like what this seems, I mean, it's just, it's an out. I mean, I, I know you can go like, well, we want to make a musical, but how do you land on this? Well, so the, the screenwriters, Iris and Cody wrecked had, had actually written this to be like a straightforward, serious, like Genesis of the Bible musical, all in Hebrew. That's <laughs> how they were going to do it. And oh. Malcolm Golan said, Yoink, give me that script. And then he said, uh, it's the future and it's about the music industry and it's in English. Really? Yes. So the whole, so this is like, I mean, I guess you're saying it's musical. Uh, like it's a legit musical where people will just break into songs. And look right into the camera while they're doing it. That was yes, weird. It was weird. That was a technique that I don't know like where else I've seen that, but it's very yeah. strange because like all the performers, like they'll, they'll be acting a scene between themselves and then when they break into song, they perform because, to you, the audience. Yeah, because Bim's they're, trying to brainwash you, Colin. Well, it's because it's because they're literally doing it how it would be done on a stage. Yeah, it a is. Mu- yeah, a this musical, is exactly a musical in person. There's dialogue between characters, but once the musical like number starts, they're to the audience. Yeah, yeah. it's exactly how it's done on a stage. Yeah, and it's. They just don't realize it doesn't work for a camera. Right, but <laughs> right. you can definitely, you could feel or it. Does it that this is all stagey? That <laughs> this yeah. is still made for the stage. Mm-hmm. Watching this movie, it just feels weird. I guess we're not accustomed to like the actors looking directly at the in you know, like tight close-ups wall. too. Yeah, 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 yeah because some of them, because you. some of the people in this movie shouldn't be in tight close-ups when they're <laughs> right. acting, singing, what have you, or like, just ever. Yeah, like yeah. I understand his. He can be the I mean, who's the main guy in this? Who's uh, uh, Alfie? Alfie? Alfie, yeah, played Al- by George uh, Gilmore. And would it surprise you to know this is the one and only movie this man has ever been in? No, I was not, nope, surprised. not surprised. Was that his uh, voice? <laughs> it was okay. So he was uh, uh, because Sean... he was uh, the member of a, a Scottish band called the Bow Evils. <laughs> Why do you know this? <laughs> I looked it up earlier. Okay, I, I thought you just knew <laughs> this. Big, and I'm like, big fan of the Bow Weevils. <laughs> <laughs> but he left it to pursue um, uh, the theater arts. So do, this do, is what he wanted. Look at his IMDb page, guys. Look, the it's apple. literally just oh, the apple, no. and it just says "known for actor soundtrack." All the apple. That's oh, wow. it. Yeah. That's literally oh. it. Okay, He's definitely a stage. He how was how was the Bow Evils? Did, did oh, we know anything about him? I know nothing of the Bow Evils. Okay. No, Bow Dean's sure. Bow Evils no. <laughs> so he didn't have anything to do with like the lyricist because that's I guess the other thing that you go like okay a musical so you're looking at uh, you know there's director but then yeah. who wrote the music? You got to write a movie, write a music. Yeah. Don't know. Okay, so okay. somebody that because you know, I saw his name at the end and I was like, oh, don't know. No. He's no Alan Menken, or, right? You know, no, wow. that he is true. Some an assistant Lloyd on Greece who's just like, I can, I can. So do you have get to my way through this? A musical. Oh, the screenwriter was the composer. That explains a lot. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, yep. okay. Wow. Um, do you have to grade a musical okay. based on its musical numbers? If that's ba- part of it. You have to base a musical on you graded musical on a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But that's part of it. Yeah. But we're saying we're not just this is, a, this is the Saturday Night Freak Show. We just don't do any <laughs> musical. We're doing the uh, there, there's a Saturday Night Freak Show twist on this. This is a musical that takes place in the future, the mm. future world of 1994. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Disco future. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. very disco. Rock, disco future. <laughs> Yep. Of 1994. If they only knew how flannel 94 would actually be. Right. Yeah. And how dreary and <laughs> right. like, yeah, cardigans and flannels and dark, right. muted colors everywhere. Yeah, because this is, I mean, I guess, because I don't even remember, disco didn't have this kind of, this is more like, it looks like punk rock or glam rock. I suppose glam yeah. rock. Yeah, glam, glam rock. rock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, because half the people had their faces painted and stuff mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah. yeah. Really There's all those triangular oh, shapes that you paint on your face and, like, yellows and purples and reds mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, 
There's a lot of, uh, I'm waiting for somebody to bring this back, right? I, I, it feels oh. like it's a holdover from like, you know, hey, we discovered space. So mm-hmm. everybody wears what looks like space suits or these yeah. sure. That's always yeah. how we imagine the future yeah. is yeah. space right. suits. Always. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And by space suits, we're saying it's like, like a, silver like, jumpsuits. Yeah. 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 With yeah. big uniform. shoulders. Yeah. It's yeah. Ziggy Stardust. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yep. Indeed. Um, they always wanted big shoulders in the future. Like, oh, I know, we're just really big, pointy for big shoulders. shoulders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was throughout the entire eighties, I think. Right, but had. they really thought it was going to keep going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, uh, Menachem Golan directs this movie. It does not look like it is a cheap production. Was it? Maybe we want to take a guess of the budget. I wouldn't know where to start. Mm-hmm. Money. I'm gonna say thirty million. I'm gonna say they went. Uh, I don't think they would have gotten that much. I don't know. That's probably. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I'm trying to think. I'm like, trying to think what they would have. Five million, yeah. a lot in 1980. Mm-hmm. Probably. Ten million. Mm-hmm. Twenty million. Nah, it's under thirty. No. It's got to be under thirty. I was. Yeah. I was gonna say it's like maybe four million. Ten million. Okay. Oh, in 1979 dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, a, lot. A, lot that's a lot of money. Of money. And yeah. I mean, but there's so many fucking people in this movie. Like every musical scene has so people. many extras and they're all well, in these insane costumes. They, they shot it in a building they own or something. Just grabbed people out of offices and said, hey, come to the lobby. We're shooting. A, we're shooting a musical number. Yeah. Be part of it. Mm-hmm. So maybe they. Cheap I don't know what that the. Way. I don't know what the canon offices look like, but that's what I imagine they look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at, all, at all times, though. It's always yeah. like this. There's, yeah. Always, yeah. there's always clowns in the lobby. People and walking in Fire breathers. Like, and weird, like, magicians yep. and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, this that's is weird. exactly what I figured canon would look like. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And every once in a while, Stallone or Chuck Norris walks through. And yeah. 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 It's kind of like it's, it's the lobby yep. from Last Action Hero, where all the different cops from all the movies are in, including yeah. like, the cartoon cat and everything. Yes. And it's, like, kind of, like... Everything is is kind of like angular and like minimalistic, mm-hmm. but then like there's a clown. Yep, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like this is exactly what I pictured yeah. Canon would look like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, because we get into an auditions part, which it feels like America's Got Talent. Yeah. Have you ever mm-hmm. watched those shows and seen the lobby where everyone's waiting before they go and perform? They're all yes. practicing and doing stuff. There's a guy in the background making cards fly or something. Mm-hmm. It's like a crazy drag queen opera singer. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, that is kind of like what this movie ends up being about, right? Mm-hmm. It's like it's a. It's, it starts. It's off- Canon's version of Future A Star Is Born. Kind of is, yeah. There Except it is. they take you and. Well, who knows? Maybe Star is Born did this. They take you and control your life. It's a little, uh, it's a little yeah. No, I mean, Star if you've Star seen a Star is Born, Born, it is. It is. Like, it's, it's very yeah. similar. Mm-hmm. It also feels like a, a Star Search. That's like what she, I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, she starts off as, oh, like, yeah, this, it definitely like, is. sweet yep. like, si- like folk singer, and then they turn her into this, like, pop star. Yep. It's yeah. very yeah. Star and her, is Born. And her partner can't handle it and right. can't oh, handle so her rise just, to fame. It is a Star is Born. Yeah, it is. It is. It is a Star is Born. I was like, you're saying that ironically, but it is. No, it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Start the Apple Greece. is Canon's sci-fi futuristic, futuristic disco glam rock star is born. Yeah, yes, okay, it really there is. There we go. We've nailed it down. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, is the actress in this movie famous for anything else? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah Weekend at Bernie's, Night of the Comet. She's been um, the last, last Starfighter. Fighter. Uh, she might be on the wall or close to it. Yeah, this is. I mean, uh, I can bring Weekend at Bernie's just to fill out that. If <laughs> oh you want. God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's Catherine Mary Stewart. Yep. Was the, oh, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. The, okay. Yeah. I forgot. Mm-hmm. During the 80s, she was a sci fi sweetheart because yep. she was in she all those run. movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's like the later day Caroline Monroe. Could have been like Leah Thompson or she Catherine Mary, Mary Stewart, uh, you know, yeah. that kind of era. Okay. Um, all right. So she's the our lead in this movie. So the, Phoebe, the, yeah. the movie, yeah. The, uh, from uh, Moose Jaw. Canada. Saskatchewan, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They make a big deal out of this. Yeah. Okay, so there's a there's a talent show at the very beginning of the movie. We're treated to a big rock number mm-hmm. starring Andy and Pamby. Andy and Pandy? Dandy and Pandy. Dandy and Pamby. That, mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Who are like glam rock superstars yep. employed by a corporation totalita- yep. slash totalitarian government. Yeah. <laughs> slash whatever else you want it to be, yeah. <laughs> Called... Bim. Right, because we're getting B. I am B. I am. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah. And then later, yeah. we're like, oh, it's Bim. Yeah. Bim. And Bim stands for Boogalo International Music. Boogalo. There's that word it's, that it's the multiverse of canon. Right, Boogaloo really is in everything. Mm-hmm. It really because is. eventually they would release a movie called Electric Boogaloo. Boogaloo. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Which break, makes break you into wonder. electric boogaloo. Oh, that's yes. right. And Which we the, did previous on an episode. We did, Pre- yeah. Previous summer, summer of Cannon Pick. Mm-hmm. And the documentary is also called, yep. I think, like uh, Electric, electric boogaloo. boogaloo. Yes. Um, so did Boogaloo Shrimp get his name? That's the star of Breaking break Two. Don't gotta know. be. There's gotta yeah. be From... a connection. <laughs> there has <laughs> yeah. to be. I think they label these people. I think they, I, Golden Globus acquires these people and we're like, we're gonna make a star out of you. Yeah. Like I this movie? Like this movie. Yeah. 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 So you're saying this is just how canon operates yeah, this oh, yeah. movie? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. But they take the position in the movie of the opposite of them. Yeah. Like, you know, we're gonna yeah. go with the, yeah. the, the, yep. the, common, the common people. Yes. The, okay. Yep. Uh, so anyway, there's this big uh, uh, rock number. Hey, 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 Bim's on the way. Bim's on <laughs> that, the way. You hear that how many hundreds of times in this movie? <laughs> so yeah. many times. There's too much Bim. <laughs> there's a Bim You bimmed hour? out. I'm bimmed out. Bim hour. A Bim, Bim hour. That, out. That Bim you hour. Have to Everyone has to stop what they're doing and get up and dance to the that now same Bim is, song for an hour. Now, this is funny because I love, because it, like you said, it's a totalitarian, totalitarian like government everything. Yeah. And so everyone has to stop for Bim hour. Mm-hmm. Which means the doctors stop mid surgery, the firemen stop mid fire. <laughs> they break into dance numbers. Yeah, um, it's pretty great. I love that everyone just leaves their job as it is to yeah. go. To yep, the for, an hour. for an hour. That's yeah. a long time to yeah. just drop what you're doing, especially when a house is on fire or a man's in surgery. Yeah, it's That's like a, society's workout hour. That's a mm-hmm. long time to dance. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And do only that same line over and over again. It's not even repeat. the whole song. No, it's just the chorus. Yep. Repeated. What kind of score? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy it's getting in his head yeah. uh, Sean's on his way to buy that record I was going for more Grease 2 uh, I, was, I was gonna say he was singing Grease 2 thank yeah. you very much oh, okay, Grease 2 okay. tonight the superior yeah <laughs> um, so we're introduced to our uh, lead characters uh, mm-hmm. Alfie Alfie and BB and BB they have like a Donnie and Marie thing going on. Yeah. It's sort of like yeah. the for the Lord or something. Yeah, right? yeah. I was gonna say it's very Carpenter. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. They're, they're very wholesome, like folk singers. If wholesome, mm-hmm. they're singing about love is the universal melody or yep. something uh-huh. like that. The crowd hates it. I hated it. But, yeah, but, but it you, starts to win them over. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I say, yeah. So they have to run interference on it. Yeah, they because they're they're tracking uh, BIM corporate headquarters. Well, whatever the the lead mm-hmm. guy Boogaloo, yes. Boogaloo yep, is um, like tracking how the audience's heart rate responds mm-hmm. to yep. the song. That's how they know. Mm-hmm. Yep. But and this uh, folksy love centric melody starts winning over the crowd, mm-hmm. and so they have to like. Uh, well, they have to acquire the act to break it, basically. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they uh, take the two stars from Moose Jaw mm-hmm. to a big party yep. afterwards, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And this is where Boogaloo is going to try and seduce them into joining BIM. Yeah. And there's, there's a love... She meets... The guy Dandy at the party and mm-hmm. falls in love with him instantly, and they have a song about how much they love each other, even though they just met. Right? You were meant for you were made for me. Was yeah. You were yep. made for me? Oh, that was just him doing the like you yeah. were made for me. Mm-hmm. So the whole thing that's going on here is like basically she's been because it's the apple, right? Mm-hmm. So she's the eve of this couple being tempted yeah. yep. into yes. a life of but sin to, and debauchery. But to be fair, he did industry. just he did just give her ecstasy, so she's kind of feeling it too. Yeah, it's yeah. True. yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Did they have that back then. Because there is a whole song number about speed. Yeah, there, there is. Speed. Yeah. Yep. Speed. Uh, yeah, just I'm, you know, some version. In, uh, I'm sure at some. Well, some I mean, version. I'm, some version. Yeah, did. I'm pretty sure they. I mean, it's it's 1980. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 I was like, there was a lot. There was a lot of acid mm-hmm. LSD roaming around in the mm-hmm. 60s and 70s. Oh, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she seems <laughs> to be uh, into exploring this new uh, found um, world because it's going to. Well, it's but she's from just the you know. Like you said, Saskatchewan, the small town of Saskatchewan. Yeah. <laughs> like she's a small town girl. And she gets a chance she's at a naive, record contract. The, yeah. Is she living in a lonely world? I mean, basically, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, but, you know, she's coming. She's coming to the big city, um, mm-hmm. meeting people, doing drugs she's never done before, mm-hmm. you know, wide eyed going into this. And like the biggest record company slash totalitarian government wants to offer her a contract. So she's right? like, mm-hmm. hell yeah. And he's like, no. And they want them to sign separate contracts. He doesn't that sign be a red his. Flag. Yeah. Yes. He doesn't sign his. She signs hers. Well, what but, happens before he yeah, doesn't I was gonna sign say, his? That's... He has visions? <laughs> question mark? Yeah. Big question mark. He sees an earthquake and like a storm and then he sees them all in hell. Mm-hmm. And that's where we get the song number, The Apple. 
Right. Because and she gets tempted by a literal apple. And I mind mean, you, dear Baylor, he's not the one that took drugs. No. Yeah. Right. No. That's the thing. He's the sober one in this situation. Yeah. For a while. Um, and Mr. Boogalow is the devil. And yes. right. um, with this one hell scene, golden horn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we. I feel like we're not talking enough about the aesthetic of this movie. Yeah, we need it to. Is. Everything yeah. sparkles, glitter, lip yeah. liner, like, like he's, sequins. It's like, a, it's like a Donna Summer stage show. Yeah, like when he's just normal Boogalow, he's he looks like Dracula. Mm-hmm. But then versus Doctor Billy Strange, the kid kind right? Of. Yeah. Like Doctor Strange, yeah. Dracula, and but then in this like vision, all of a sudden he's like fabulous Dracula. Yeah, he's exactly. like very glittery. He's, and, he's bedazzled. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's bedazzled and glittery. His and beard is glittery. And, yeah. And, yeah, it's, it's an assault on your senses. Alfie yeah. was somehow every time that he looks at Boogaloo, he mm-hmm. sees his true his form. Devil which form, I yeah. got to tell you, the right. first couple times I didn't realize that something had changed, <laughs> and I'm like, what? I don't get it. And I'm like, oh, because he's got the horn. Morning, right. He's got one he was, I mean, he was wearing makeup. Yeah. He had like that red lined cape too that he yeah. was wearing. So I was trying to nail down where that guy was from. He's yeah. a Polish actor, and his name is Vladek. Oh, uh, Vlad. Of course it yeah. is. Um, I can't re- remember or pronounce his last name. Sim Simbal or something like that. Sure. But uh, whether he went on to do great things, we will never know. But I mean, until he shows up in some <laughs> random free show movie, yeah, and then he years. ends up on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he definitely does have a screen presence. He does. Yeah. I like him. Lot. He's he's seriously like Peter Cushing's evil twin, like yeah. even the evil pointy black yeah. goatee. Like yeah, even yeah. That, yeah. A couple weeks ago, when we were talking about like the devil would have this goatee. Well, here we go. Yeah, like, this is this it. Is, this is yeah. that devil. This is yeah. it. And he has a bunch of minions and stuff around him that mm-hmm. are all helping out with this. One of them comes up with uh, proto. It's like proto Chris Tucker from uh, Fifth Element. Basically. Yeah, it that's is. That's what he kind of feels like. What he's oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like Ruby his, Rod. His yeah, number, yeah. his number one. But yeah. his number two is like the marketing guy, and there's like a whole big deal made. <laughs> I about like the marketing guy. The marketing guy's funny. He comes up with uh, the BIM Mark. Oh, the BIM Mark. Yeah, yeah. which is some kind of holographic it's triangle. A it's a sticker. It's a sticker. It's a, it's a holographic <laughs> sticker. <laughs> You have to stick it on yourself. And you have to wear it. Otherwise, it's against the law to not wear it. Yes. Yeah. Because BIM, I don't know if we have clearly established. Very fascist. It's a record company that is also the government. Yep. A very fascist government. And the cops have like BIM mark shaped shields. So they got a little like triangle shield. They have the sticks that are kind of like from Demolition Man. Yeah. Like they electrify it. Mm -hmm. That's what they kind of look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they enforce the law. The law is you Mm -hmm. must hail BIM. And wear the BIM mark. <laughs> and so you gotta do BIM hour. Yeah. BIM. yeah. So that's like a biblical thing, right? They're doing that's the mark of the beast or whatever yeah. that yeah. they have to yeah. actually wear. Um, so she's seduced by this lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And Alfie's like uh, having divine visions of yeah. underneath it all is it's corrupt and all this other stuff. Um, because I suppose they do a lot of drugs and they they sing well well i mean it's basically because like if you sign up it's signing your soul away right yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, faustian right, yeah. thing oh, yeah. she right, signed right. the devil's book yeah. yeah yeah and they were so pure before they came into this yeah. they were singing jesus songs they were wearing white stage. shirts literally yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're singing about love, Sean. Yeah. It's all about yeah, love. Yeah, I felt okay. the Jesus undertones in that. That was the love of Jesus. It did feel about. like it did feel like after the song was over, they would be like, you know what the greatest love of all is? The Open love your of Bibles. our Lord and yeah. Savior. <laughs> yeah, that's like how it would go. Yeah. But <laughs> Oh no, I felt it. It's there. <laughs> it, they were trying to stealth it in, but they were not subtle about it. No. But did you guys get the like vibe that they were in a romantic relationship from the jump? Yeah. You did? They were like a yeah. couple that, yeah, saying. I feel like that was not yeah, well I established. Didn't, I didn't think. Well, I mean. Especially because as soon as she other. goes to that party, she's into that other guy. Yeah. yeah. I just chucked it up to bad writing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That. Well, because she was under the influence of whatever he gave her before they right. started making out and mm-hmm. over the rotunda where everybody right. can, can watch. Mm-hmm. Um. What do we think about the songs? I guess, like at this point, I mean, we got a bunch of are they, are they disco numbers or? Uh, I mean, there's a reggae song at one point. There is. We got the catchy master. beats, but yeah. repetitive lyrics. Very repetitive I would say. lyrics. Yeah, because I feel like there are moments of speed that are really catchy, but then like when it hits the chorus, they just say speed over yeah. and over again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's yeah. Not good. But, but right, the verse the, leading the up verse, to it is yeah, good. Really, yeah, yeah. there's some stuff that, yeah, mm-hmm. some verses yeah. are good. And that's, I think, most of the songs of this. Some verses are good, but mm-hmm. then it's just kind of, something goes off. Yeah, it's I a little off. I think good is an overstatement. <laughs> Interesting. Catchy. Catchy. I mean, I would, yeah. like, toe tapped, but yeah. I can't, can't help it at this point. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Coming isn't terrible. 
You know that what, That was Michaela? the best music. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the song. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to have to get to that one. That's going to have to occupy a special moment. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, this wedge is driven driven between Alfie and DB. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's It's a BIM-shaped wedge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's being courted for superstardom. She's going to be the new... Uh, I think they made mm-hmm. uh, that original group of Dandy and Pamby... Like oh yeah, that Andy, was like Pam their original BB. like yeah. we've created them and yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and then the new super group so she feathers her hair and wears colors it yeah. colored that's oh, where she it. she, she has the hair. makeover montage and that's when he sings the master song mm-hmm. the the reggae song in this mm-hmm. no that's right because he's the devil yeah yes and mm-hmm. yeah. He talks Lords about having slaves, me. which is uncomfortable, but... But he is the bit, devil, and the devil has yeah. slaves. Yeah, so everyone is his... Because I guess, yeah, there's a there's a theological thing going on here, which it's hard to miss. The thing's called the apple, <laughs> yep. and by the end of the movie, it just, like, runs right <laughs> off the rails. Uh, yeah, it sure <laughs> does. W- I mean, we're walking into heaven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, um, being led by a Cadillac. I mean... I mean and a guy named Mr. Tops. <laughs> Mr. Tops. <laughs> Played by Joss Acklin. Oh, my God. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> we seem to have lost one of our submarines. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Plays a hippie later on in the movie who lives under a bridge oh, yeah. like yep. a troll. Yes. <laughs> runs a hippie commune. Always carries a knife. Though. I think hip- at some point, didn't yeah. he say? You said he said like these are leftovers from the 1960s. He said refugees. They're refugees, refugees. They're refugees <laughs> yes. from the 1960s. Hippies would call themselves yes. refugees. Refugees from the. He said these are refugees from the 1960s. Better known as hippies. Is what yeah. he said. <laughs> That's exactly what he says. Because he's talking to this guy from 1994. Right. He wouldn't well, have right, any yeah, kind well, of. I forgot we are added, in the future. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of hippies, Alfie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how does Elfie get to the hippies? Okay, so uh, <laughs> so like what what's the drama that that happens after? So he um, doesn't sign his contract. No, right? he doesn't sign his contract. BB signs it, gets super famous, performs Speed, and the world goes crazy. Yeah, yeah it was meanwhile, like a big disco song, yeah. bunch mm-hmm. of disco lights. Yeah, America so. wants Speed. Yep. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah, talk about America's uh, drug b- pill popping pop- problem. Pill popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a song about like, pill wow. popping. Yeah, this is this movie's prescient, I'd say, but. This yeah. movie is PG, <laughs> which is wild. Well, they didn't have a PG-13. I know, but there, I but... feel like coming earns an R I mean, rating. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. America yeah. did have a pill-popping right. situation. Still does. Still I was, was going to say, like, at this time, and it just That's grew. I'm saying. It's pressure. Yeah, mm-hmm. it just grew. But he, yeah, he doesn't sign his contract. He goes out. And so he ends up living with um, a the end of days lady. Yeah, she was uh, in yeah, the yeah. end of days Miriam, lady. Miriam Margulies. Yeah. 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 Two weeks in a row. Yeah. She up on, Two on weeks the... in a row we've had her in a movie with the devil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Colin, God you damn. have to keep it going next yeah. week. I know. Yeah. Last week she beat up Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yep. Go, yeah, scroll her IMDb now, Colin, and find your pick for next week. Yeah. <laughs> Romeo <Right>. and Juliet? <laughs> <laughs> so so he's, he's Harry li- Potter? Yes, he's living with a very nice Harry Potter teacher. Um, <laughs> but and uh, uh, but I mean, it's a very ramshackle place and everything. And he's, you know, he's trying to write a song every day. I'm, I'm going to go right. sell it and all that stuff. And it's. He yeah. feels up his landlady. I mean, he really does. They have a special relationship. Yep. He I sings to her. He plays guitar. She feeds in her him face. soup. She gives, she feeds him soup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, so, but yeah. so he's trying. I feel like there's a lot in that relationship they don't show on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, he's trying to actually write a song, another song about how love is the greatest. Um, Thing something. Of all. It, it sounds another love. vaguely religious song, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think he's only uh, he's it's got like one music. idea. He just rewraps it. A oh little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah. Were you guys uncomfortable with the faces he was making when yes. he performed it in the recording Very studio? Much. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my problem slash the best thing about this actor in this movie, <laughs> right? Because it's not good for a regular movie, but. Yeah. Having to watch this movie, I'm glad that he was all over the place, <laughs> right? Because yeah. sometimes he's very, um, he's very static in the face. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's his fault. Yeah. I just don't think he can move it in a very uh, emotive way. Right. Yeah, it was really off putting, and I couldn't look away. Right, right. right. but right. it ended yeah. up, yeah, it turns into something you can't stop looking at, exactly. which works for this movie, I guess. Yeah, that's what this movie is. Yeah. <laughs> Off putting, but you can't look yeah. away. Uh, that's <laughs> right. Well, he's, he's more acclimated for the stage because I think you don't have to really look at his face, you just have to look at his body language. But mm-hmm. in this movie, we get lots of close ups, and it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of, I mean, a lot of choreography oh, yeah. uh, in this movie, like with dozens of people, you know, um, 
dancing around. Oh yeah, we mm-hmm. forgot that the leather, leather and studded leather is also like another look yeah. in this movie. Yeah. Yep, because it's the eighties. Mm-hmm. Um, right. So and that shiny silver metallic material. Yeah, that's yeah, the on everything, yeah. Yeah. on everything. Yeah, everything's glittery yeah. or shiny. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Something. So well, at some point he return. You know, realizing that like she's the love of his life, right? Well, he, he's he's always known. Yeah. He's always known. She's yeah. losing it. Mm-hmm. She's falling off the wagon, and so he goes to um, try and get Mister uh, Bugalo to mm-hmm. undo her contract. I want to release BB from her contract. He like, says like three <laughs> times. Yeah, and that's all he went in there with. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. he's got nothing he's got out. No and plan. what do you say? No, no plan. <laughs> no plan. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where he had the vision that they were um, like Adam and Eve? No, that was earlier. That was okay. way that was earlier. Was Literal the apple yeah. like showed yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. that was way earlier. Taste the apple. Praise the apple. Um, <laughs> what happened at this one? Because uh, um, they gave him a drink, which this really is drugged him. Yeah. This, this is right. the coming song. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. he got beat up at one point, and then we do the coming song as well. Well, he got beat up, and they had the "Cry for Me" duet where they sing to where, each yeah, other from rain, afar. Like, yeah. Stumbling his way Cry home against me. walls in the rain. He's, yeah. he's bleeding from the head, so it's like running. <laughs> and she's looking chest. sadly out the window while it's raining. Right. Yeah. They both end up looking out windows at different buildings yep. as it rains, and they talk mm-hmm. about crying and rain mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. okay. they are still connected across. And the is it Pamby? Yes. Who I believe is an actually like she's a Jamaican singer. Like is she? for real. Huh. I think I looked her. I saw something mm-hmm. about. She's like, the best singer in this movie. Yeah. So that doesn't actually me. like. I think her song is like. Could be good with some tweaks. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, got a good not like. Coming. No, she's got two songs. No, I think coming actually could be a good song. Oh, with coming some, was the one you're talking. Yeah, mm. like We're it's got a good melody, it. but it's just the content is weird. It's weird. <laughs> okay, so so she dopes him. Well, there's also okay, so she he, yeah she roofies it basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, says, she says, "Give me my special, special drink." drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she planned this shit. <laughs> so he gets all like uh, liquored up mm-hmm. or drugged out. Yeah. And led through a cacophony of imagery until she takes him to her bedchamber mm-hmm. and she sings a song about how I'm coming to get you. Do it harder and faster. Keep yeah. it up. All this innuendo. Like it's, oh, yeah, there's it's, nothing subtle about it. No. Right, Cause it's, I'm coming. Yep. To get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then not subtle. coming it for you. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Come to me. All these yeah. things. Yeah. She's going to squeeze every drop of his love. <laughs> but, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, this oh. is a PG rated movie. Yes. <laughs> I was going to make a comment after this. I'm like, he just looks drained throughout the rest of this movie. I'm just like, oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe he is. He does. Maybe he is. Well, because that, that number, which I'm hoping that was the one you were saying is the best. That is the best one. Yeah. Because I'm like, this has got to be it. Yeah. The it it expands because it's not just them in the bedroom. All of a sudden, we see like a bunch of couples. Oh yeah, uh, like black background, just beds on just beds it. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But synchronized, synchronized orgy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, amazing. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, some of the some, stuff they were doing was impressive. Yeah, like, there was yeah. a handstand <laughs> into a maneuver. Yeah. yeah, into the missionary. Yeah, yeah. Missionary. yeah. but without like murdering the person below them like <laughs> they did it gently like she was stabbed yeah. to death officer i don't know <laughs> yeah. how it was impressive yeah yep. <laughs> what? Yep. ends with a bunch of synchronized moanings yep i'm not sure if uh we are to believe that the doped up alfie enjoyed himself well i mean uh, he didn't enjoy himself because he was you know, talking about bb yeah bb bb yeah that I was, was like he uh, he was um roofied so you yeah, can't yeah. really say that he, he was, was he was date raped yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. He, there's no enjoyment there he yeah. did finish the act before he runs out the door and then Pamby is like that is actually true love that he's still like in love with her uh, and mm-hmm. so she starts going to uh BB, BB yeah. and is like I'm gonna get you out of here yeah she starts to turn mm-hmm. why didn't she leave she said it's too late too for late, me yeah yeah that's what she said no she's it's too, too far she's yeah. depending on the the cash influx mm-hmm. from yeah. Mr. Bugalo mm-hmm. uh Bugalo, 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 right? Because it sounds mildly threatening. Boog, boogie, boogie <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, right. I mean, if someone just came up to me and went Bugalo, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd be threatened. I'd be like, Bleh. 
I wouldn't like it. <laughs> so it's somewhere around here, right, that uh, he ends up taking up with the hippies. Yeah, he, he runs away. Oh, yeah, the yeah. hippies. I forgot his, about the hippies. Is, yeah. yeah, He runs away from home because this is just what he does. He just runs away just from runs things. Away from home. So we're supposed Find to... Find us under the bridge. Yeah. Well, because hippies are all about love and peace. But no, this like, guy looks like a wizard. He oh, doesn't have a shirt. He, he just does. has an open shows robe, up like a wizard. But the wizard hat. Like wizard. I mean, like I said while we were watching this, I think Elfie kind of fits in with them. No, so. he does. Oh, yeah. Like, you know. oh yeah, because he. I feel like I don't know. He seems like a guy who would get hooked into a cult hippie lifestyle real easy. Yeah, it feels like he's a little spacey. It looks like. Yeah, he's not the sharpest tack in the group because yeah. at mm-hmm. some point the cops show up and he's like the last one who stays behind. He just sits there. Yeah, yeah. yeah everyone gets up and runs. Usually, like, what? Yeah, it's this wonderful. Where world. are you going? Yeah. But you're saying who looks like a wizard? Uh, oh, the hippie the leader. The leader of the hippies. He looks Does like, he have a name? I don't he think looks so. Looks like God. He's got big fluffy or Santa. No, he's, he's got he's, big fluffy he's a beard. God or he's, Santa? No, he's, no, he's God the Gray at this point. Yeah, and yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. Yeah, we will see him become God the White. Yes. Also known as Mr. Tops. Mr. Yeah. Tops. Because, you know, up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so is the devil Mr. Bottoms? <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is now. <laughs> he is now. I'm oh. done with you, Bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they have that discussion like later on. But, well, we, we got to get there. Okay, so. Um, yeah, this is no God and Devil on a Train. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, playing for the fates of a rock not. band, but Come, it <laughs> happens that at the end of it, you're basically having that. It, yeah, no, it is God and the devil. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> so he runs away to the to join the hippies, mm-hmm. and uh, and and uh, Pamby like mm-hmm. says to BB that she's got to get out. So BB yeah. goes mm-hmm. and finds the hippies, mm-hmm. finds the troll living under the bridge, <laughs> takes her down into the catacomb where. They all live together. He's in the kind. bachelor's quarters. <laughs> there is, which is like a rock in the corner. Which is a corner, yeah, a corner yeah. in the cave. Yeah, because no. and it live. looks like the caves from uh, the two towers. Yeah, Everyone's it does. hiding during the battle. Yeah, like it's that's what it looks yeah. like. I have a better theory. Okay, it's the cave <laughs> from Lost. You Anybody lost ever me. Watch Lost? Yeah, no. Oh god, they, they no. find a ca- well. Hold on, they find a cave in Lost one time, and then they find a skeleton of an Adam and Eve in there, who they say is the Adam and Eve of the island, <laughs> oh and it looks god. just like it. So this is my retroactive. The apple is the prequel to shared Lost. universe. All right, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was another multiversal thing. J.J. J. Abrams has seen this movie. <laughs> um, yeah, they live very wholesome down there. They have no, the, yeah, sure. uh, the the. Uh, <laughs> the, they don't like the television, bachelors. Colin. They don't like <laughs> these, television. Yeah, he, he said he's like these people don't like television. <laughs> <laughs> this he's is very God proud. talking yeah. to you. Yeah. We find out so God yeah. doesn't like television. No, it's uh, it, it's ru- it's warped us. Um, and so then we flash forward all of a sudden yeah. ten years. Flash forward in just the quickest second okay, in it's movie been a, history. It's been like a year. They say it's been a year. Over Despite a year. what the beard oh, and the, the baby, the baby tells us the it's baby. been more. That than is a year. toddler. Yeah, like, I know, that is right? A full but the, on... but G- God says it's, she's been here for a year. Mm-hmm. Over, like, oh. he says over a year. Well, mm-hmm. and okay. Alfie looks like John Denver at this point. He's he, does. <laughs> yes. he does. He um, does. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's, I mean, because they're and like Bim mid-song. just now was able to track her down. If you've ever yeah. wanted to hear Joss uh, Acklin sing, uh, you will in a deep baritone, right? Mm-hmm. Which is all of a sudden interrupted when the stormtroopers show up, right? Mm-hmm. The the Bim stormtroopers, yep. yeah, tapping on their shields as they yep. through the forest, yeah. And then um, I forgot he sang. What did they sing? Oh, oh or something, something, child of love, right? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, child of love. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Weird. Um, yep. Yeah, because the couple has a kid now, as you said. Yep. And uh, so then, you know, the who married them? Uh, he he did. He, God he's did. He's God. He did. God. Yeah. Well, right, but they don't know that at this point, right? No, no. but yeah. he's, he's just the kindly old troll under the bridge. But he's the leader. I'm sure he's. I mean, I just, I just feel like there's a lot of. I don't know. This is very dangerous imagery. I know your I know your <laughs> cult senses are going. I know. Off. <laughs> like, well, I mean, spidey senses are tingling. I off. feel like she BB just goes from one cult to another, right? She really oh, does. she does. Oh, yeah. Like Absolutely. she just 
She's just being controlled wherever yeah. she goes. But like yeah. Alfie is like, I'm not joining your cult, but I'm going to join the, yours. But I'll join this one. Yeah. The under the bridge cult seems cool. It's like, yeah. you're going to join the cult, at least join the one that makes you rich and famous. I would, like, join, I would, you know? yeah. Yeah. I would join the fancy one. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not the cave dwelling cult. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you said at one point, bridge. like, because he stood out on a on a train mm -hmm. where everybody looks like punk rockers. Yeah. And he's oh, like, yeah. you know, Johnny Squaresville. Like, is he like punk in this? Uh, universe, <laughs> or is he more like Amish? Are they like, oh, God, yeah. this guy doesn't believe in the future or the modern technology? So this is like an argument for like nonconformity. That's like a big part of oh, it, yeah. right? He's like, I'm not going to conform with everybody yeah. else. He's you got that for yourself. Shit eating nonconformist yeah. grin look on his face. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, different. I mean, he is. He is a hippie. They are hippies. Like that. That part actually makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. you but know, true, liberated true, true. people yeah. who are they're not. They don't all think alike. They just this is where they found other people like themselves. No, they hippies. think alike differently. <laughs> is what they do. Yeah, now. yeah. That's the key. It's not they think yeah. different. They just all think like this group over here now. Yeah, yeah. Is is it when he gets off the train that we see like the the depth of BIM in culture where we see like the BIM strollers yep. and the BIM burger. And oh yeah, BIM yeah. burger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Welcome BIM. to BIM burger. It's yeah. like uh, by and <laughs> large <laughs> from fucking Nope. Don't got it. Don't got <laughs> it. Where's by and large from? The fucking Disney movie uh, with the robot. Wally? Wally. -E. Yeah. There we go. Jesus, I'm losing words. <laughs> <laughs> um well, you're deleting files. Uh, up yeah, there, it's, huh? yeah, yeah. It's gone. Okay, yeah. But this is what you did. Yeah, now the apple's in there. Wally's gone. <laughs> the apple's in there. Thanks, <laughs> The apple just overwrote on the files Appreciate for Wally. It. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Real happy with that substitution. <laughs> I mean, it had to happen. It's gonna be like, later. Dad, can we watch the movie he's, with the no, robot? And you're gonna be like, the apple? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's gonna, like, let's watch Wally. Okay, and I'm just gonna stick in the apple yeah, yeah. and not see a difference. Yeah. yeah. The association has been made. Yeah. 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 Dad, I'm scared. It's like, it's fine. Hey, he's rated PG. It's fine. Right, yeah. Teaches you valuable box. life lessons. Yeah. Um, Don't sign devil contracts. Yeah. Don't join cults. Son, yeah. this yeah. song's called yeah. Coming. <laughs> What's it mean, where, where is she going, dude? Show, um, show him reproduction first from Greece too. Okay. Warm yeah, up yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Then get to it. Yeah. Well, it's at this point that the movie like goes off the rails. I mean, uh, uh, more of yeah. the other more, rails. It goes more off the rails. Because as they're being, you know, so the cops show up with mm -hmm. Mr. Bugalo and he's like, she owes me $10,000. $10 million. $10, $10 million. million. And so we're taking you all to jail. Yeah. All you hippies. And so. Don't the, you worry. Mr. Tops is going to show up. Mm -hmm. I, Mr. Okay, Tops is coming. This, I can feel it. Yeah. This was. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, yeah. Alfie's got this. He's like, I'm sure of it's it. Like, who he's the coming. fuck is Mr. Tops? This is the first <laughs> we've ever heard about, about Mr. Tops character yep. in this yeah. entire movie. It's like he's looking for Gandalf in the West to come over the mountain. Yeah. And it's like, who the fuck is this? Right. Yeah. What are you talking about? So we get a, a golden sky Cadillac. Pulls up yes. in the clouds. And, like, I'm sorry, Sean's not exaggerating. A Cadillac literally like, does drive through Do you remember at the end of car. Greece when they fly away yep. in the car? Right. Yep. This is it's also... the same thing. There is an entrance of a gold Cadillac from the sky. Yes. Yep. Mr. Tops then comes down. Yeah. Okay. Did Emerge he... He emerges. Yeah, you see him walk through. He the emerges clouds. from the gold Cadillac yes. in a bubble of light, as in the yes. Wizard of Oz. Right. Yeah, I yes. mean, I remember that, and I remember him like you know a bunch of light, you know, as yes. he stood in front of him, mm -hmm. and then he materializes as Joss Ackland again, in a now, white tuxedo, in, all clean shaven, and the hippie yes. leader is gone. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. did did he actually come down, or how is there transmogrification? Okay, he there? like. Snuck off behind a tree, yeah, and then went. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, got his came, Cadillac. Yeah, because he has, just. I want to imagine there's a sky ballet that had his Cadillac sure, waiting. You sure. just shoot up to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he can't just be like, "Hey, I'm, I'm got you." Yeah, no, he entrance. had to go Clark Kent his ass and yeah. get back up. Okay, yeah. right. All right. Yeah, so I didn't want to reveal everything. If you're Mr. Tops, right. you can't just. You need an entrance. Yeah. Mr. Tops need needs it. an entrance. Oh, he, why didn't why his didn't name is Mr. Tops? He was wearing a white tuxedo. Why was there not a top hat? You mess up the beautiful. Hair. I mean, the hair has, was beautiful, think, yeah. But he should just be like holding it under his arm, yeah. you know? He yeah. did have white gloves on, though. Yeah. He did. <sighs> Which he was kind of nice. Yeah. It was, it was a nice touch. Nice. Yeah. It was classy. He's, he's the classiest dressed person in this movie by far. Oh, easily. I mean, I mean, yeah, hippies. easily. He, he's got. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. So, so Mr. Tops he's comes got. down and basically says, uh, well, he, he vaporizes uh, Bim's 
you know, whatever they're the legal warrants, the warrants, and all the warrants, oh, yeah. warrants for their arrest, and then says basically like anyone who wants to can come with me. So basically, yeah. it's like you can come because at this time, at this point, Bigelow is like. What are you doing here? Like, they clearly know each other. Right. They mm-hmm. are clearly have turned into devil and God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, unambiguous. Right. Yeah. Point. And not on the, a train. The sparklies come back. The one horn comes back yep. for him. Yeah. And there's a discussion about how um, uh, God's basically taking all of these hippies and uh, uh, Pandy, because she, she's going with right. chosen. Yeah. Um, the chosen, right, mm-hmm. are mm-hmm. going off. They're not going off in the Sky Cadillac, but they're no, going to they're they're walk uh, through the clouds right. uh, following it. It's yeah. like the end of the Star Wars holiday special where the Wookiees walk into the star, remember? Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks exactly it like that. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like the end of Heaven's Gate, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's what Heaven's Gate people believe <laughs> happened to them, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. A golden Cadillac? I probably no, they the walked UFO into the Haley's Comet, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. yeah. The Haley Bob Comet. Yeah. yeah. And the devil uh, and God have a discussion because basically... God is taking these people and he's going to another planet. Like, are you taking him to a new world? He's like, hopefully. Mm-hmm. One without you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the devil's like, you can't do that. You can't. What? There's no life without me or whatever. Mm-hmm. We're going to try. He's like, let's get <laughs> yeah. a shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's God's thing is like, this well, is... we're going to, we're going to see what it's like so without only... evil and the world, you know, without, without the devil. So only people that don't watch TV get to go to this new civilization. Yep. Damn. We yeah, are. well, we're all fucked. Yep, so. yep, yep. <laughs> that this is where I was like, did Jehovah's Witnesses write this? Right, no. it because like propaganda. Jehovah's it? Witness has a certain amount that go to heaven, mm-hmm. and I'm like, hmm. oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. damn, interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Michaela, tell us all about the like paradise the- and heaven sequences that were deleted from the movie. Get. <laughs> There are none. <laughs> this, is, this is in the movie. There was actually, though. Was there Apparently, really? the entire the movie began with like this whole yeah. Because I looked it up on Wikipedia, oh, did there you? was like this whole thing about how the writers were like, Golan deleted heaven and a song called Paradise Day and all this. Oh yeah, stuff. this was when it was going to be their serious Hebrew musical. I'm yeah, sure, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, and but uh, Golan didn't want it to be too formidable for uh, audiences, so he sure. scaled all that stuff out. But when you watch the movie, you're like. The only way that the ending doesn't come out of nowhere is if you have that prologue. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah. Thank God the prologue is gone. Thank Tops. I would rather tops. have. Thank Tops. Thank Tops. Yeah. Thank Tops. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Sisto. Thank yeah. Thank yeah. <laughs> Jeremy Sisto and Tops are just right, palling Sisto around with fish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jeremy Sisto does have the same hair as Mr. Tops. Kind of well, father, so, son. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it works. <laughs> this is our own religion we're building here, you guys. <laughs> and they all walk off to somewhere. Just somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's very happy. They went into the in the clouds yeah. following the uh, the sky uh, uh-huh. Cadillac. Yep. Um, I mean, realistically, this is not that far off from the end of Greece. <laughs> yeah, I, that's right? what's... Yeah. There's so it much Greece, they've taken... Is it Star is Born? What are we it's doing? It's all of them, Colin. It, it's okay. The story is a Star is Born, but specific, like, scene blocking and choreography yeah. is straight from Greece. And yeah. Saturday Night Fever. Yep. And Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, this is the canon method. You take all the popular things <laughs> yeah. and put them in a blender and hope yeah. you make money on it. Canon's the only people that stole more than the Italians. I tell you what, yeah. I'll tell you what. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> You know, I was watching, uh, they were saying the Italians, what they actually did, they would mine a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is Joe Bob Briggs was saying they would find a, a, a genre and just mine it until it was dead, and then they'd move on to the next one. I'm like, ah, so, so we should, yeah. I don't know, did Canon do that? <laughs> so, I mean, they did, what, three breakdancing movies? That's a, that's a lot. And a Lombata movie? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll do I mean, rapping this summer. They would just keep on going and yeah, rapping. Rapping right? yeah. with Mario Van Peebles. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. They would just keep going and making these things until the audience yeah. interest. How ran many out. ninja movies did they make? Uh, An American true. Ninja. There's what? Four, how, four there's, of those. There, it, six. D- six American there's Ninja like movies. Oh my god! And we watched what one on <laughs> yep. the show? Yep. Oh, dear Lord. And that was is Dudikoff and all those. Yeah, uh... Most of I could probably DM him and ask him, right? I forgot about Dudikoff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to say he's in a lot of them, if not all of them. Yeah. And that's just the American Ninja movies. That's not even counting the other that's Ninja right. movies. That's right. Enter the Ninja, yeah. Revenge of the Ninja, and Ninja 3, the yep. domination, yep. which we did do on this show. Yep. And you should all watch them. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I kind of get vibes of um, Flash Gordon in this, too. Yeah. I can yeah. see that. 
Is this? The weird whiff. future. Yeah. yeah. It's like a really weird eighties, like uh, design aesthetic. I mean, I, I yeah. talk about like, you can spot the nineties cause the nineties was also interested in like geographical patterns in mm-hmm. fashion, but the eighties yes. was too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But it feels like the nineties just kind of, well, my complaint, I think, what were we watching? Was it super Mario brothers where it's like in the nineties, you just took a bunch of shit and threw it all together. Space oh, yeah. truckers. You said match. that. Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's, this, that's, that was it. But do you think that an eighties uh, era thing has like a cohesive? Design? Oh yeah. For oh, this it? movie, for oh. sure. It's mm-hmm. all silver glitter triangle. If yeah, nothing yeah, brutalist. else in their singularness there is, like, uh, I don't say that. Like it, like you said, it wasn't just a bunch of things thrown together on one person. Each person is pretty um, stylized, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, there was a, uh, a purpose to it. Or in the 90s, like you said, they just threw it together. Mm-hmm. So, no, this feels like there's a design to it. Definitely. Especially with that much choreography. This feels like a... a- thing they would put on in like 30 rock doesn't it doesn't this movie yeah. feel like a, <laughs> like a skit they would do on 30 rock it or something does. or even like a stage play jenna would be in and be really excited to be in well, it like <laughs> like this whole time the whole time we we're watching that you and i kept coming up with like oh this is very it's always sunny that's very it's always sunny and the, yeah, i feel like they've had to have seen this movie there's, there's so many like this whole thing feels like a parody yeah Mm-hmm. The whole thing. Mm-hmm. But has there ever been like a Simpsons joke about it? That's when you know that you've actually. Or, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, is is there going to be an Apple resurgence now? Now that we've. Only because we're talking yeah, about exactly. it. And now yeah. everybody's yeah. going to go like, it what is this? Like, the Apple. Yeah. And it's going to be the new New York Ninja. And. Yep. Oh, no. I've seen. I've already seen Flesh for Frankenstein stuff come up. And... Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, because that was a new release, you know. But yeah. The, yeah. Well, yeah, but this is like two months later. I give it I give it three weeks since Shell Factory. The Apple on Blu-ray <laughs> remastered with all this commentary Maybe. and bonus features and, and behind have, the scenes. Uh, and- they have, who has MGM? It might be Shell Factory has the MGM library. MGM? And, then, yeah. and then after that, Waxwork, oh, we're, no. we're doing the record soundtrack. It, oh, no, yeah. Prime did. Yeah, it's Amazon, Amazon Prime. It. Yeah. We had to watch it on Tubi, Tubi. with ads. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it was not ideal. And apparently no. the original version, it looks like it must have been like a widescreen thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, the only yeah. version we could see was uh, Four by three. horribly, horribly cropped. Horribly uh-huh. cropped. All right. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of the apple. I know that there's a lot of suspense. I'm like, I know that you're all probably just as confused as we are. Yeah. Are you confused? So are we. Yep. (laughs) But you want to know if we would recommend that you watch it? You need to run out. Recommend you be confused too. Yeah. (laughs) Stick around and find out. (laughs) But first, we're going to summon our mailman, and he's going to bring us the mail. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. I wonder what Igor will be like after having witnessed this movie. Like, is he going to be the same? Well, he already has the shoulder pads. Yeah. His so. brains are pretty much already goo. I'm just, just yeah, I'm just worried. It's probably not safe for him to watch. No. He does look good <laughs> in those silver jumpsuits, though. Yeah, he loves those. <laughs> those are good. The, yeah. Like you said, the shoulders give him a little. He more loves those shoulders. Yeah. Space. I mean, why can't we bring that back? You're gonna. You no know one's saying in you the, can't. The no. Italian fashion industry that you can call up. Oh something. yeah, excuse me, Italian fashion industry. Yeah, Hello. Like, uh, you want this <laughs> like 80s thing coming back? Bring back. I wonder where the costumes for this movie ended up. Yeah, right. I want to know where are they in just I'm some warehouse they didn't end up somewhere? On v. That's or, where they yeah. always yeah. start <laughs> their <laughs> shows. Yeah. V and what was uh oh my god what was the movie we watched uh Rad had the the jumpsuits from V right, remember yeah, yep yeah, yeah, they passed yeah, around yeah, everything we want it was like yeah for a while I think we were talking about that like the costumes from V and Starship Troopers yep. ended up oh, like yeah. in oh yeah the, everything yeah. Uh-uh. yep yep very true. Uh, okay, well, anyway, we want to let you know how you can participate in this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie, The Apple. Oh. DJ Dogman Fish writes in and says, time to stop ordinary activities and prepare <laughs> for the National BIM Hour. All right, let's all stand up and start. Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we need like some kind of, yeah, there has to be like... If I vi- just leave right now, it's because I'm going to bed. Visual and uh, auditory aids for... Sean's going to do that someday during the podcast. He's going to be like, 
oh, it's Bam Hour. I gotta go. No, and I'm just gonna leave. Sean, I'm gonna be gonna leave. <laughs> like, Bam! <It's- laughs> um, the B Movie Vault says, I'm way behind in my podcast listening, but I will tune in for this one in a heartbeat. <laughs> Losing count and how often I've seen this glorious piece oh, of no. glam rock insanity. <laughs> Do the goddamn Bim, Saturday Freaks. You know you want to. <laughs> It does. It's one of those songs that at first it's annoying, then it gets catchy, and then it gets annoying again, but it keeps coming back around, you know? Yeah, there was some songs I'm like, ooh, all right, catchy, and then I'm yep. just like, oh, uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> catchy again. Yep. Well, Adam Kaler writes in and says, I knew investing in BIM marks last year would pay off. <laughs> Everything's coming up top. <laughs> uh, let's, let's well, right. Guys, let's make a cryptocurrency called BIM marks. Yeah, BIM marks. Ooh, yeah. yeah, bring it in. <laughs> Uh, Lou Kiss writes in and says, this is like if song poems were made into a movie. They're so annoying and they never leave your brain. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Action Dude. What what up, Action Dude? Says, I've never heard of this movie. It sounds like the producers could have built a whole movie franchise around the costume wearing actors in the Fruit and Loom commercials. (laughs) Basically. Yeah. Actually, that's not. Yeah. 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 That does actually. Yeah. 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 Uh, Joey Blythe says, I'm one minute in. There ain't, <laughs> there ain't. That's all. That's all I need. <laughs> the fact that you had to stop live. and be like, I'm one minute in. Says, there ain't no good. There ain't no bad. There ain't no happiness. There ain't no sad yeah. tears. So far, yeah. the writing is horrible. Horrible. But it looks fun in a trauma esque way. Update. This is pure John Waters. Second update. Yeah. Yes. Miriam Margo- Margulies Margulies. makes me happy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She was good in She's this She's a good movie. New York yeah. mom. But yeah, why did they not rhyme bad with sad? Why did they yeah. go tears? Why? <laughs> tears. <laughs> like, there's a way you can do it. Like, yeah. you can hit the rhyme and then keep going with the tears. Yeah. But they don't do they that. Don't do and it. I had that same thought. I was like, John Waters loves this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Asobi Datura writes in and says, I kind of love this movie. It's not great, but it's super entertaining. The music isn't too bad either. The glam rock number You're Made for Me is my jam. And the Donna Summer pastiche coming <laughs> is sleazy fun, although the scene around that song is problematic, to say the least. Mm-hmm. And let's not forget, 1994 never looks so cheap. I'm curious to know of the hosts, <laughs> what song, if any, from this film is your favorite? Favorite? Like- it's coming. Coming is coming, I'm, but I, I, like, I like, like the Jamaican too. song. Speed was the ma- good. Yeah, the master. Yeah, the master is yeah. just kind of like the bounciness to the master. It's <laughs> yeah. not particularly, it's repetitive as shit. Yeah. But- yeah. They Fun. all are. Yeah. yeah, they all are. Yeah. And uh, Justin Fields wonder what three recasts would substantially improve this film's oh, quality. See, that's what I was thinking of. Like Real movie. Roger musicians. Daltrey. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm as, Roger uh, yeah as, uh, as Dandy. Dandy. Yeah. 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 That'd be good. Mm-hmm. So what are their musicians from the 70s? Well, John Denver as... Uh, right. Cher as BB Alfie. would have been amazing. Cher. Oh, yeah. Cher would be a good BB. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. would take that. Yeah. Fuck it. Put Donna Summer in there. Yeah, yeah. there you yeah. go. Yeah. 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 That would be good. This could have been in, like an all-star <laughs> fucking... Right? Or even, um, what's her name from the Star Wars Holiday Special? God, what was her name? Carrie Fisher. I'm sorry. No, well, no. The, the VR porn lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. It was... Uh, Dion Warwick? Was it Dion Warwick? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, okay. Okay. Um, last week, we watched a movie called End of Days. We yes, did. we did. We sure uh, did. Travis Legler writes in, okay, so on that episode, we were talking about A Winter's Tale and another, <laughs> yeah. another actor who plays the devil. And Travis Legler says uh, about that, a devil that wears ACDC shirts? Well, shit. Now I'm interested. <laughs> also, he says in Supernatural, the show... Uh, death was always eating and had an it obsession was with uh, it was death. Food. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Grant Parrish says, you know, something about Robin Tunney and that I just like, and I completely forgot that she was in this mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. She's good yeah. in it. I like Robin I, yeah. Tunney. Uh, Simon Carter says, my favorite line from the movie is, "You think you're so bad? You're a fucking choir boy." <laughs> <laughs> choir boy. <laughs> the way his eyes bug out when he says that line really helps. I know. It's like he's on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the previous week, uh, we watched a movie called Virtuosity. Michael Whitaker write, wrote in and said, I wouldn't change a second of this film <laughs> unless I wanted it to be successful. Of course. <laughs> right. But seriously, you could do a version of this where the half the mystery is figuring out how Sid escaped and make it more like a slasher. And the twist in the end is that it's actually the programmer taking orders from Sid. 
Oh, that would be cool. Actually, that reminds me of a movie I can't tell you about because that would give away. Oh, uh, yeah, don't don't give it away. Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, Robin Linneman Silverberg writes in and says, Funny thing, after I saw that Virtuosity was the movie of the week, I pulled it up on Sling and I watched it, and about halfway through, I started to get deja vu, and after it was over, I put in Demolition Man. Yep, it's the same <laughs> yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm okay with that because I like more of Demolition Man. So yeah. Well, thank you all, each of you. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for writing in. Appreciate it. And keeping Igor employed. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. He's yeah. right. He, he needs a bubble. He needs yeah. money for costumes. That's mm-hmm. right. Uh, now we're gonna go around the room. Holly. <gasps> you can go first. Oh, thanks. What do you think about the apple? Would you um, take a bite? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sean. Would you go to the core. No. Are you coming to the core? Maybe. Are, okay. are, well, what cult are you joining, Holly? The Apple or Mr. Tops? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, with a name like Mr. Tops. Yeah. I try to stay away from cults. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, let's be real. I'm. Well, I don't know. Because sometimes I lean more towards hippie stuff. I don't know which one I'd choose, to be honest. I don't know if I'd like live in a cave. So probably the... I'd probably take the rich and, the rich okay. and fame. Right. Yeah. Um... This movie was weird as fuck. Uh... <laughs> that's really all. Just staring at space and I know. popcorn and like, like that's really I'm all you can stare into space and hope for that. I mean, I'm kind of yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad none of you like looked at me during the movie because I was literally like my mouth was open the entire time. I was like, "What the fuck are we watching? This movie is batshit crazy. It's it's bananas." Is there anything redeeming about it? No, not really. It's bad. It's real bad. But I have to wonder what it would be like to watch it high. Yeah. yeah. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> you tried. We tried. My, my vape battery what does that died. Mean? You tried. No, my vape battery died. Oh, I mean, we, we tried. tried. We, we tried. tried. Sean, we tried to smoke up before this and we couldn't. <laughs> How dare you tempt me? <laughs> Here's Sean. Yeah. Something to help Sean, you enjoy Sean, take a bite of this apple. I mean, I hit this like... vape. <laughs> 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 Nothing for you. Yes. You, you said I, you said I don't want to sign that contract, devil. <laughs> Why am I signing this contract with a vape pen? Yeah. This, nothing makes sense. <laughs> this is one of those movies where, like, I don't really know. I don't want to know what to say about it. It's like, should you watch it? And I don't think anyone should watch it. Should, yeah, I was going to Good. I don't think anyone should watch it. This is, this is ridiculous. It's awful. But at the same time, like it's an experience. So if you're one of those people that are like, I need to see all the weird shit out there, then yeah, you need to watch this because this is really fucking weird. I don't know where that leaves me on a recommendation. <laughs> I, I I don't know. <laughs> Quick, yes or no? I know. I know. Just I don't know. Do it. Uh, no. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Gotta put the heat on her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Give us a goddamn answer. I'm sorry. Thank you. No. <laughs> okay. Sean, what do you think? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's a bad movie, but you know there is, um, it's Sean, Sean, it's hard. Sean, it's hard. No, no, Sean's exactly, doing a lot of gesturing, <laughs> audience. This is exactly what gesturing. you get with this movie. It's just like. Yeah. <laughs> If you, I mean, it depends. I think if you like, like us, if you know and like canon stuff and you like that, I think this is, uh, I think this is a spectacle that you have to see as part of that whole thing. Good or bad, I like yeah. Holly. I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know anymore with this movie. But yeah, it's- it really <laughs> d- wrote a bunch over a bunch of files in your brain, didn't it, Sean? It it did, because I didn't. Well, when I started right this movie, I was just like, I don't know if I can. I really felt I couldn't do this. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> when, I, when we first got into this, I yes. really felt like I didn't want to be with this two movie. minutes into the movie. I was like, well, How did we get here? Yeah. <laughs> like where? And then, but where then, did we go wrong? Then we got some like good songs. There were some. I mean, I, I toe tapped a little bit in this stuff. Like, I, and then it went faster than I thought it did. So it turned me around on it again. So you'd probably watch it just for the spectacle. I think, yeah, you kind of have to. So I'm gonna recommend mm-hmm. the apple. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. See, Colin. I, oh. what do you think? <laughs> Well, I mean, it feels like it's one of those movies that, uh, you know, like it feels like Menachem Golan was actually like seriously trying to make like a profound, yes, you know, experience yeah. and just failed horribly. <laughs> There's actually a funny mockumentary called And God Spoke that is about like the, these guys making this biblical epic 
And then it's just like yeah, so yeah. ineptly horrible. It's funny <laughs> as hell. And then it ends up becoming like a Rocky Horror Picture Show kind of uh, thing. And then it feels like that is what happened with this movie. Right. Um, so, but that sheer um, want to make it profound and serious launched this movie to us. You yeah. know what I it's mean? Like same, that is why it's, it's here. The, right it's now. the same thing as the room. The room was intended to yeah. be a serious movie. I think yeah. you're in the same. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and as a uh, deep diver into like the weirdness of <laughs> right. uh, it, the spectacle of it, like kind of, I was never bored watching no, it, never. I guess, I you know, I, was never, I, I never checked out. It was just because every minute you're like, what in the fucking hell? is on screen mm-hmm. like what was the justification for that <laughs> choice why are we in a right hotel there? Lobby <laughs> doing that? yeah like what are they doing why is with there a the giant set? golden globe in the background i don't know yeah so <laughs> it's just it's uh phenomenally strange it i guess you know as sean was saying the addition of knowing because like you're saying canon but i think to a lot of people canon means these like overblown action movies. sure yeah so. you know this is not that but you know just to see where the company came from and yes. and some of the the people who brought you over the top at the delta force <laughs> like passion project was the apple yeah. you know like Cannon was built on the back of the apple <laughs> yeah yeah on near suicide yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's a, on it's sheer desperation. a weird one <laughs> and i think for that it's like i think you have to see it because it's uh this is a cinematic uh oddity yeah you know mm-hmm. uh I was I was gonna go like I can't think of anything else that's like it, but I mean I suppose in a way like Rocky Horror Picture Show would be mm-hmm. the closest like analogy to it. You know, mm-hmm. it's something that everybody yeah. hated at the time, and the reason that you're watching it now is because you re- you recognize that it's bad. All right, it like missed its I, mark. I feel like we're all used to it at this point, but if you really think about it, that shit's crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, I would uh, recommend that you check out the weirdness that See, is. See, I don't know if I can bring Apple. myself to say that. <laughs> that was my issue. Yeah, but I know the folks who are listening to this. And right. Half of them apparently right. already, have yeah. already seen it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we have more write-ins than I thought. Well, we I think about they the watched Apple. it because we brought it. Oh, and they're like, true. "What well, thank the you. fuck <laughs> is this?" Yep. Yeah, we did it. get a minute by minute rundown <laughs> on one of them. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Michaela, uh, the Apple, the Apple. Uh, well, I mean, I I feel like the more I do this podcast, the more I'm becoming like a curator of spectacle. Like yeah. spectacle, <laughs> spectacle increases the value of a movie a lot for me, I feel like. And I feel like sometimes when you're exploring the world of spectacle, you gotta do some dumpster diving. Mm-hmm. So just get in the dumpster with me and watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, I, that's a, it's, it's, that's, no, that's, that's just a great t-shirt. That's yeah, just a get great t-shirt. Get in the dumpster, dumpster and watch, watch this movie me. with me. Like, yeah. Let's get some, let's watch some trash. No, that's, that's a perfect way to say <laughs> yeah. it. So like, it, it's the seeing is believing. Like, I it's really hard to describe the visual look of this movie because it really just just assaults your senses at all times. There's never a reprieve from the yeah. glitter, the chrome, the the makeup, the uh, all of it. And it assaults you in four by three. Yeah, more <laughs> yeah. insulting yeah. Yes. slash assaulting. Yes, yeah. and then you have that like juxtaposed with all the brutalist architecture of like seventies Berlin, and it's <laughs> it's it's a moment in time that mm-hmm. thank God we got it because this. Was it is this is the book of Genesis for canon? Mm-hmm. Like this yeah. is what started it all. Yeah. Like because of this movie, we got over the top. If this and had, Cobra if this had opened with one and, of those like coming on a book, it flips open, and then we get to yeah, the story of, of canon. canon yes, yeah, that's the what should have. It's up to us to make this, Sean. We <laughs> need so. to be the ones to make this. Where did canon terminate? Like uh, was it the failure of like. Masters of the Universe or Invaders from Mars that, or something. Think, yeah. well, they were doing those mega budget. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you got to see the Apple. Like, there's, like... And I'm not a musical person. I don't enjoy musicals. That was the other thing. I'm just but, like, musical. but, I mean, when you tell me Canon did a musical, I'm like, I'm listening. Because like, mm-hmm. I know it's going to be insane like mm-hmm. this. And so, I think, like, I mean, it's on Tubi and Pluto for free. So, like, it's not ideal, but it is free. So, you don't have to, like, have that buyer's remorse if i paid 3.99 yeah, yeah, to right. rent this yeah limited investment for this movie. yeah exactly mm-hmm. um definitely watch it under the influence definitely get a group of friends i would love to go to like a midnight showing of this where like we all get up and do the bim together you know <laughs> and like they give out bim marks and like that oh, yeah. like that would be fun how is this not happening know, yeah an you know universe, yeah. Though, be, yeah and um and i i would even love to see this at a drive-in i think it'd be really fun to see it at a drive-in so i do it Can I, you midnight screening counterculture programmers do it mm-hmm. just do it because it, it it'll be fun it'll catch on 
like the room eventually, <laughs> but do it. So yeah, I it's would been recommend 40 the apple. Years. It hasn't worked yet. But <laughs> yeah, damn it. that's true. <laughs> but it hasn't met the freak show. That's right. Now that we said Until it, now. can't can't yeah. wait can't wait for for um I don't know what not bloody disgusting but a website like that to be like you know you should really revisit the apple next week can't wait for that article to drop mm-hmm. <laughs> all right so that's the apple uh next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by colin what are we gonna watch next week well since you guys just said you never saw avatar i think we have to go back no i'm kidding oh uh, my god i was really i, know, I was about to watch i would have been i've been okay i was about to go off with mr tops and get the fuck out of here <laughs> Well, no, you make me actually want to do it for real. I was just bringing uh, that up as a joke. But none Colin. of these folks have seen Avatar, and they're just dogging on Avatar 2 without knowing what Avatar is. I'm not. I'm doing also Avatar. dogging on Avatar 1 as well. I dog on both of but them. But you haven't seen Avatar 1. Okay. Uh, but what we're actually going to watch is... Do it, uh, Colin! No! Do it! No. no, it's summertime, and that means biker movies. Ooh. To everybody, everybody thinks summer and biker no. movies. Sure. So that means Stone Cold with Brian Bosworth. Oh. That's I, been on my list for a while. From Grey Poupon, Brian Bosworth. <laughs> I don't know anything about no. this movie. Oh, right, no. from the director Nothing. of I Come in Peace That's been on my Action list for a while. Jackson. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't know I know, about, it's one that no. slipped through, so Ooh, we're going right. to introduce it <laughs> right. to the Saturday Night Freak Show next week. Stone Cold. Uh, uh, and until then, the basement is going dark. <laughs>